Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Amanda. So in today's video, this one's a little bit different. We're doing a Trader Joe's grocery haul. My husband had an appointment in Nashville with a specialist and so um, I took the opportunity to run into Trader Joe's and just see what all kinds of new things they had and everything. I was excited. It's one of my like favorite stores to go to to see what all they have. It had been quite some time since I went so I was glad to check out all the new things. But um, yeah, I'm excited to share this with y'all. Please let me know what your favorite Trader Joe's items are in the comments below. Um, if you've seen something new with their fall stuff, I haven't seen their fall stuff yet. So I'm curious if anybody's found some good finds there too. But um, And I also have just a little, very small Target haul to share with y'all um, at the end as well. So I'll share what we got at Target while we were there. So I just ran in there and got a couple things. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to share this with y'all. It's a little different, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. But let's go ahead and get into the grocery haul. Okay, so guys, I'm going to show you everything I got at Trader Joe's. I'm going to do the like non-cold stuff first, and then we'll take a look at the frozen stuff I got. I think I just got a couple of things that were refrigerated, just some carrots. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get into all this. So we've got this um, pasta quintet. It's got like different shapes got like little wagon wheels and some like I think it's fusilli or whatever I don't know just different little shapes in there I thought that looked kind of interesting I thought this was interesting because it says 10 minute farrow and I know that farrow can like take a long time to cook so I thought I'd try that my daughter requested this um pasta here so I got a couple of those we've got some mini chocolate chip pancake and waffle mix this pasta looks so much like fall it makes me think of like candy corn so i thought that was really cool i got some cinnamon brown sugar bread i've never tried that before so i'm curious to see what that tastes like or at least i've not tried it from there i've had it from different places but um we've got some chocolate brooklyn babka I've had, I haven't had Trader Joe's, but I've had that kind of bread before, and it's really good. We got, like, I just got each of my kids a little bag of these chocolate chip cookies for their own sales. And then, just the lobsters. We also got this, um, there's this way more chocolate chip cookies. They have, like, lots of chocolate chips in them. My daughter requested white miso paste, so I got that for her. I got some, let's see, sweet chili sauce and some jalapeno sauce. Also got a bag of the mini plain bagels. And we have like some white cheddar corn puffs. Um, my husband didn't really <laughs> realize what ghost pepper potato chips might taste like as far as like the heat level that could be. So that's going to be interesting to try. So we'll see about that one. I'm not a fan of huge spice. My daughter is. She might like them. And we'll see what my husband thinks. But we've got some milk chocolate covered mini pretzels. I've never had this before. I've heard of it. But it's Harissa. And um, I thought I would try it and see what it tastes like. I'm not really sure I'm going to use it. I need to look up some recipes or something. We've got some pizza sprinkle seasoning never tried that either the fur cake i hope i'm saying that right but my daughter likes that so i got some of that um she asked for this korean fermented red pepper paste so um i got that for her i got a couple of them and then some dark chocolate chips and of course i don't know if y'all have ever had the street waffles but they're so good the best ones are if you can find the chocolate ones with caramel in my opinion anyways they're so good and we've got this is for my daughter because she likes spice but it's a uh, sriracha sprinkle and some toasted sesame oil i've got a couple things of sea salt that i got um sugar plum sparkling beverage Let's see if you can see that there um that sounds interesting and my kids love like sparkling grape juice and stuff like that so and then italian blood orange soda so i thought we'd try that there's also these like um 
They're like crispy cocoa wafers, and then they have peanut butter dip. So, I thought that sounded good. And we got a couple things of these pizza crusts. They're really good to do like a chicken Alfredo type pizza with it. And of course, we tried, thought we'd try their Alfredo sauce. I got one of those. Of course, we couldn't, you know, go without getting our dog Mila something. So, we got her these cute little cheeseburger um, treats. So, we'll see how she likes those. Um, we got some of these like candy bars, like milk chocolate. And I think this one has, yeah, that one has almonds. And another one with almonds. So, that's for like everybody to eat on for a while and share. I've got some dark chocolate covered cherries and some put this here. Some mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. I thought that might be fun to use in baking. I had those a while back from um, another place and they were really good to add stuff. And then we've got let's see milk chocolate peanut butter cups. So yeah. So lots of goodies. Um, I'll also show you, like I said, with the frozen stuff, but Trader Joe's is like so fun just to see what they've got. And we had a good time just trying to, you know, pick out some fun things to try and stuff like that. So I'll get to the frozen stuff next. Okay. So this is the frozen stuff I got. We've got some, um, breaded mozzarella sticks. I'm not typically a huge fan of peas, but I don't know. I just wondered if these might be a little different. They're petite and they're frozen, so I don't know if it might be different in the can. I do like the Lesseur canned peas. Those are really good. We've got like four, I think four packs of Brussels sprouts. We really like these a lot. They're always a lot smaller. Uh, I don't know if you can really see. Probably not so much, but they're usually always really small and I like the smaller ones better because the bigger ones just seem to be, I don't know, more tough or something. And then this was a request uh, that my daughter had. It's Korean spicy stir fried rice cake. So I got that for her. And then she also requested these sliced Korean rice cakes. And so we got that. And the only thing out of these, this stuff so far that we've ever had previously is the Brussels sprouts. So all this is pretty well new to us. But I've always heard really good things about this mandarin orange chicken. So I thought I'd try that. And of course, if you've got like orange chicken, you definitely want to have fried rice with it. So I also got vegetable fried rice. So yeah. So that's the frozen stuff I got. We just always pack it, like pack a cooler and then put all the frozen stuff in there and it holds pretty well but yeah that's that's all the stuff I got at Trader Joe's it's always a fun place to kind of see what all they have Mila you want that so Mila definitely approves of the little cheeseburger flavored dog treats and they're so cute because they're like little cheeseburgers she's waiting for more say hi Mila so guys, I just wanted to share with y'all some must try items for us. We liked a lot of the things we got. There were a few things we were a little disappointed with, but I really wanted to share the standouts with y'all. And three of those were the pasta quintets, um, pasta shapes, and then the Italian blood orange soda and the PB and C snack duo. So the pasta quintet was really awesome. It had different shapes in it. So I love the contrast of the textures and the different shapes. And um, I just absolutely love that. I, I really hope to go by and get some more of that the next time we go to um, Trader Joe's. One of my favorite things was the Italian blood orange soda. I don't drink like sodas, Cokes, you know, anymore really. Um, the only thing I typically drink is like things called like Waterloo, Polar Springs. I think are a couple of the brands that we buy. Um, we can wait till they go like buy one, get one free at Publix. But, um, so those are like, I guess you call them, I don't know if they're like called seltzer waters, but, um, I think that's right. But essentially it's like, um, you know, a carbonated water beverage It it has flavoring, but it does not have any sugar, no artificial sweeteners. I take that and add just a splash of like lemonade to it. And it is delicious. Like anytime I'm craving something fizzy, that's what I drink. Um, 
so much healthier than like you know the, the sugar amount that's in like all the sodas and cokes and stuff like that and in fact i've got to where now if i try to drink a coke then i don't even like it so i love that because i used to like coke so i'm glad that i've kind of weaned myself off of that and gotten used to the a much healthier alternative however that blood orange soda was to die for i mean it was so good it was light it wasn't like this overly sweet it kind of had this little bit of tartness to it and i think it may have been a summer item so i'm not sure that when i go back that they'll even have it i'm so disappointed about that but i did want to share that with y'all in case i think it looks like they've probably had it years prior from the stuff i've looked up online so hopefully next summer you know y'all can try that if they don't have it at your store um now but the pb and c snack duo was another favorite those were so good i do have to say that they were a little sweet so like i would typically when i would eat one i would eat half in a sitting so like i'd eat half one day and eat the other half the next day um, because it did get to be a little much on the sweetness side but i love the combination of the peanut butter and then the chocolate um little wafer sticks i'm not sure what those are called but they were really really good so yes yeah, so i just wanted to share with y'all before we got into that target haul a little bit of um the few favorites that we had because these were highly you know recommended items i would tell y'all that um i would really recommend you try so um but we liked a lot of things too these were just a few standouts so let's go ahead and get into that target haul and um you'll see what i got there So we've got some Funyuns. I have been wanting Funyuns so bad. I used to eat them when I was a kid and I don't eat a whole lot of chips anymore. But I have been like wanting this so bad. And I thought if I got this, I could like, you know, they would be just individual servings and I could just eat one every now and then and kind of make them last a while. So I got these and I wanted to try these flatbreads. So I got a pack of those. I got some just maraschino cherries to have on hand. Sometimes like we like to make Sundays or something like that. Um, and then these Haribo peaches or Haribo. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, but I think it's Haribo. But um, the peaches. Oh my, they just looked really good. I love peach stuff anyway. So I thought that would be kind of fun to try. And then these dark chocolate sea salt caramels. We don't have a Target. And I have been wanting to try these forever. And I never can seem to get them shipped. Because obviously they probably worry about them melting. I don't know. And so I wanted to pick up a bag while we were there. Also have this roasted salsa verde. I thought that might be good with like some enchiladas or something like that. And then I got my daughter some dairy free mac and cheese. Also got a couple of boxes of graham crackers. Just to have on hand for snacks and stuff. And... This is probably, like, I was kind of tickled to, to know they had the, like, fall flavors already. I just feel, I love fall, so, like, I'm so ready for it already. But um, I thought this was kind of rare because I find that decaf is really hard to find in flavors. And I don't really drink coffee, but my husband, my daughter, and one of my sons do. And so I thought this would be great. And my daughter especially loves pumpkin spice, like everything. So I thought this would be a great choice. So I was excited to see that. But yeah, just a few things from Target, so I thought I'd share those as well. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than normal, so definitely let me know if you like grocery hauls. It's something I've kind of thought about doing um, a little of, so let me know in the comments if you like those kinds of things. But yeah, thank y'all for joining me today. Thank you as always for your support. I appreciate it so much. I hope y'all have a blessed day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.